Hi friends, this is a quick video about how do I prune the tomato plants. I have one tomato plant growing in this Aero Garden Harvest and I have two tomato plants growing in this another Aero Garden Harvest. These plants are 50 days old plants. They started flowering and they even have a couple of tomatoes. I already removed a couple of leaves from all these plants in the past and the plants got overcrowded again. In general it looks like they are looking fine and we don't need any pruning but we can see how dense these plants are. I see two problems with this kind of dense growth. One is there is no air flow because they are so thick the air is not flowing through these plants. So that may trigger some diseases or the mold. I see a little bit of mold started developing on this leaf. The second problem is the leaves are getting so big and they are blocking the light going on to the younger growth. I see there is a lot of younger growth showing up here. So the bigger leaves are actually getting wide and they are overlapping with each other and blocking the light going on to the younger growth. So keeping the plants less dense is always good for better airflow that will help with the pollination and that helps the light distributed well throughout the plant. So here we go. Every time when I prune I pick the leaves mainly from two spots. One is from the bottom. I usually remove the older leaves from the bottom and the second thing is wherever the plant is dense. Like for example here I see there are a couple of leaves that are super wide and blocking the light going on to the new growth. And I also see a couple of older leaves here. They are anyway dying. These older leaves are prone to diseases. And those diseases will spread fast. So always remove the older leaves. And wherever you see the dents like this. So go ahead and remove the leaves from there. So here I see one more leaf that is super wide and blocking a lot of light distribution. So remove that. Now look at this young growth. There is a lot of young growth here. Because the light is not distributed, we can see that these leaves are very light, pale green. Normally the leaves are supposed to be super green, but if they are not getting light, they are going to stuck at this pale green growth. And always look for the dead leaves and make sure to remove them. So here is another leaf which is also getting old. So remove that. And continue the process. Since this plant is already at flowering and fruiting stage, I will make sure that I am leaving at least 50% of the leaves on the plant because the plant definitely need a lot of leaves at the fruiting stage. I am finding a lot of older leaves. Alright, we don't need a lot of pruning. Now the plant is looking less dense. This should be good enough for nice airflow. And also always check the leaves thoroughly. Always make sure to inspect the plant thoroughly. And if you see any leaves that are getting diseases like mold, we can see here this leaf is catching some mold here. So make sure to remove these leaves immediately. Otherwise this will continue to spread out and this mold will spread out really fast. That's it. Now it all looks good. If I see this plant is getting overcrowded, I am going to repeat the same process again. I am repeating the same process on the other garden. Just finding the leaves, older leaves, which have some problems or they are getting... I see this leaf is also catching some mold. So here I see some old leaf. I am removing it. Oops, I broke the tomato. This is the reason we have to be very careful when pruning. I 
started here I see a couple of old leaves they started turning yellow I think that's pretty much now it is looking much better less crowded this is probably enough for nice airflow all right that will be all thanks for watching and happy gardening